Okay, this is going to be a fun one. We're going to make rotating rings. Um, the first ring, let's see. First thing we'll use is a sphere. I'll put it way at the corner here because we're going to make a lot of these. Now, I want this sphere to be in 50 by 50 by 50. The thing is, when you change these to 50, you have to change them all individually to get them all to become 50. Length, width, and height. So I want to show you how to get these done all at one time. So we're going to undo this. And this time, I'm going to hold down the um, shift button on my keyboard and keep holding down the shift button. And I'll click the um, little white square here. And then I'm going to click the 20. And now I'll let go the shift key and type in 50. And they all become 50. Let me hit the F key so we can kind of see it. There we go. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to um, make another one of these, so I'm going to duplicate. Let's get this out of the way. Um, duplicate, and then pull the duplication out. And the duplication, we're going to make this into a 44 by 44 by 44 by holding down the Shift key, clicking this um, square clicking the 50 and then letting go the shift key and typing 44. Very good. And now we're going to make this into a hole. Alright, next. Let's go back to this. We're going to duplicate this piece and we're going to pull the piece out here and we're going to change this into a 43 by 43 by 43 by holding the shift key, clicking the square and changing this to 43 and they all change to 43. Now let's duplicate this and <laughs> and the duplication kind of jumped over there. So we'll pull it duplication back and put it over here. The duplication, we're going to make 37 by 37 by 37 holding the shift key and we'll make this 37 and they all will become 37. I think they all became 37 to make sure. Yeah, they did. Okay, I had to make sure. F. Let's pull back. Okay, everything's 37. Just had to make sure. Okay, and then we're going to make this into a hole. Okay, pull them over a little bit. Alright, let's duplicate this sphere again. Duplicate. And we're going to pull out the duplication. And then we're going to make this a 36 by 36 by 36. So hold down the shift key, click here, and type in 36. Okay, there we go, 36. Now, we're going to um, duplicate this piece and pull him out, pull him over here. And the duplication, we're going to make 30 by 30 by 30. So hold down the shift key, click here, click 36, and type in 30. And then we're going to make this a hole. Okay, let's duplicate this guy again, duplicate and pull out the duplication. And we're going to make this a 28 by 28 by 28. So hold down the shift key, press here, and the 36. Click that, let go, and I'll type in 28. Got it. OK, good. Now let's back out a little bit. Now we're going to duplicate this again. Duplicate, and we're going to pull out the duplication. And the duplication, we're going to make this into a 23 by 23 by 23. So uh, hold down the shift, type in the 28, change it to a 23, and enter. Good. And now let's turn that into a hole. All right, we got one more. And we're going to click this one right here. And we're going to duplicate it and pull the duplication out. And we're going to resize the duplication to 22 by 22 by 22. Let's get closer here so you guys can see it. So hold down the shift key and change this to 22. And they all change to 22. OK, and that's it. Now, let's back up a little bit. And we're going to join these pieces together. Let's, let's go back here first. And we're going to join these last two first. OK. So these two right here, we're going to join them. And using the um, alignment, and we're going to align
combine them together this center okay that center is already done and then this center right here a little so you can see it this center right here all right they're all together good and now we're going to do one last thing I'm going to click this piece and we're going to group that now everything's grouped now you can't really see that it's grouped but I'll give you a little clue um, let's click this right here and let's click solid and transparency and you can actually see the piece of there is actually missing okay the hole is in there so I'll show you transparency all right now let's grab the next two these two right here oops let me straighten this up a little bit so I can grab a little easier okay there we go got them all right let's align them and line up here align them there and turn this around and I want to line them in the middle okay they're all aligned okay and now I want to um, group it all together group very good all right let's do the same thing for the others okay select these two align got it and then let's go to the middle here and that looks pretty good okay I think that's it and then we'll group them okay they're all grouped together and the last two of these two guys here right here let's back out a little bit and I want these two oops turn this around I want these two right here and we're gonna align them line them this way and that's already lined there I want to line them that way and there we go and now we're gonna group okay all right everybody's grouped together um, now let's take all five of these and we're gonna group them all together or not group them let's align them and align them this way good and then this way and then here in the middle all right they're all lined up okay then we're going to group everything together so it's all one piece there we go all right so now let's start cutting this thing okay let's take um this guy right here and I know I want the height of this to be 16, so I'm going to click here and we'll turn it from 20 to 16. And then all of this, I'm just going to make it bigger. Let's say, um, I don't know, 80 by 80. So I'll make this 80. And I'll make this 80. Okay, good. All right, so we'll slide that right in there. Okay. And I want to duplicate this. Um, so let's duplicate it. And the duplication, I'm going to pull up to 34. So pull this up to 34 height. Oop, went way past 34. Um, it's 32. Let's, make it, let's change it to 34. 34. Okay, looks good. All right, so let's select everything and group. There are your rotating rings. When you print this out, these pieces will rotate for you. So let's put this on, on the ground again. Um, let's go to, sorry, oh, hit the letter D. And there it is. It's ready to be printed and played with.